blue whale is not the largest animal ever to have existed. I mean, we're constantly told this because it's partly true. I mean, it's probably the largest animal that's extant right now, and it's the heaviest animal that's ever existed. But heavy is different from size. Size is like how long or how tall an animal is. So in that respect, the blue whale doesn't actually hold the crown for the largest animal ever to have existed. The largest confirmed species of dinosaur was called Argentinosaurus, and it was found in Argentina in 1987 by a rancher who mistook the leg for a giant piece of wood. Now over time more and more of the fossil has been collected until now we know that its overall total length would have been at about 40 meters which is definitely larger than any recorded specimen of blue whale. To get your head around how big this dinosaur would have been uh, one of its vertebrae, so that's one of the small bones that make up your spine, would have been about 1.5 meters in length. That's taller than most adult humans. Other examples of massive prehistoric animals include Megalodon carcharodon. Megalodon lived about 3 million years ago and was basically a stockier version of the great white shark. And by stockier, I mean about four times as large, at about 18 meters long. So, I mean, its mouth is taller than a human. Its massive size and agility meant that it's been dubbed a super predator or apex predator, since it probably would have been able to demolish virtually anything it came across in the ocean. There are a couple of theories that suggest that Megalodon still exists on the water, which doesn't really make much sense because firstly Megalodon was a surface feeder and preferred warmer environment and secondly uh, I'm pretty sure people have noticed if there was a 20 meter shark feeding underwater. Speaking of deep sea creatures, there's actually a phenomenon known as deep sea gigantism or abyssal gigantism, which is when organisms living thousands of meters deep down in the ocean develop abnormally large characteristics, like the Japanese spider crab, whose limbs could reach up to 4 meters in length. There's also the giant squid and the less well known cousin colossal squid, both of which are terrifying names, and their taller body length along with their tentacles can reach up to 15 meters long, which explains why so many internet peoples are pitting, like, you know, the colossal squid against Megalodon in hypothetical battles. But to answer the question, is the blue whale the largest extant animal, there's only really one contender that can really consider beating the blue whale, and that's the lion's mane jellyfish. The lion's mane jellyfish is by far and away the largest jellyfish did, and although its head, or bell as it's called, is only about 2.3 meters in length, the rest of its tentacles are absolutely massive in comparison. They're about 37 meters in length. And that was an actual recorded species that was caught and measured with, you know, tools and stuff. The largest recorded species of blue whale was a female that was about 33 meters in length. And so I guess even today it's this little known gelatinous blob. And yes, that is what jellyfish are because they have basically nil organs. That takes the title. And like all the other animals above, this one is pretty good at catching prey too. I mean, the Wikipedia page describes it as using its long tentacles to first tangle up its prey before tearing it apart and consuming it. Pleasant stuff.